Welcome back, everybody, to the Academy Gaming Weekly number 70. I'm Storm, back here with Hurix, and we are in the round of eight still. We are going to be seeing the ELO Guardians up against the ELO Terrorists, as I was actually told by Dante that they kind of trolled the first game, and that might have been why they actually lost that one, but they pulled back Route 66. We're headed to Kingsboro for the third game, Hurix, and I... I'm anticipating the Guardians to take this one and move into the semifinals. But I think the real question here is, who is playing what role on this team? <laughs> well, I mean, as we were informed earlier, it looked like Unko was DPSing and Sinatra was on a tank. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, the case as we continue. I mean, I don't know exactly what they're going to do here. Unko looks to be on a support this time around, but they haven't locked anything in quite yet. I'm still... Definitely wondering who's going to be like the actual tank Zoms. Maybe is Sinatra going to be flex as he's known to be uh, on the Zarya quite often. So this actually does make the most sense with Dante actually going over to uh, projectile. So I think this is going to be what they're going to set in with if they do actually uh, want to be victorious tonight, which I imagine they do want to be. So th this makes the most sense. This makes a lot of sense here. But Elo Terrorist still. Uh, and actually a good roster. I mean, I wasn't super sure about them uh, before, but now that I'm actually seeing who's on their team, Taponzor, uh, Praji, I mean, really good players on this roster that, I mean, otherwise would have done quite well in this tournament, I think, if not for the fact that, uh, you know, these guys signed up. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to agree on that one. But I think they, they knew that they... I'll, I'll be honest, I did not plan for this to happen with these seeds. And you know, the funny part is, Hurix, Back when Selfless used to be a team and back when they used to play in Academy Gaming tournaments, I accidentally put them up against a team that was called Selfish Gaming. I think they played them like in the round of 32. So, you know, this is a recurring theme for Sinatra, to say the least, to play a team with a similar team name. So regardless, he is on the Zarya, something that he actually has played quite a bit of. So not surprised. Oh, nope. nope. He's going over to the Reaper here. Okay. All right. We'll see what they're going to make of this. I'm curious to see what the terrorists can do against these guys, but they've got a junk rat on their end. It is, of course, a pretty, pretty high pick rate, I guess you could say nowadays, but a May out as well. Nice wall. And right away here, they're going to wreak havoc, getting an even trade. But for the most part, Elo Terra is going to be able to back off of this one. Prodigy actually ice balled off there. We're going to see Zoms trying to charge into this one, but not going to find much of off of it as he's going to be taken down. And for the time being, the Guardian's going to be held at bay. Really, really good stuff from the Junkrat. Green stop there to be able to move forward and pressure Retzi out of that positioning where he was going to be able to put some hurt in onto those back line. I mean, Prodigy holding that barry up, making sure everybody's safe. Dante did a good job of making those walls come up and finding those kills, but now they're going to have to search forward with that res coming out. The tires coming out as well. Can they find anything, Storm? It looks like they won't! Unko going to go ahead and pop the Valkyrie, come back in there and get Sinatra back up into the fight, into the back line, but he doesn't find anything here to Tonesor. Grabs Archer in this one, and Hurix a minute off the clock, and the Elo Terrace actually holding these guys off for the time being, not looking too shabby in doing so, and they didn't even need to use Valkyrie in that last fight, or Transcendence, which they're going to have for Retzi's tactical visor moving into this next fight. They Curious have... to see if Archer can find... Oh no, the Shatter from Prodigy, but a great May wall comes out from Dante to pretty much stop any further destruction to them. They have done so well they have so much available to them zoms right now getting a little bit of that freeze cannon coming up from dante but i mean as they come in definitely look for another iso wall to come out looking for a kill onto Praji if they can shut him down and he will have that blizzard as well that's going to come out drop right onto the point they should be able to kill off Praji, and they do a great bio grenade from unko as well isolates Praji off of that one not make making sure he's not able to get any healing in that fight, but to Ponzor, Pops Valkyrie, he picks up two people back into this fight here, it's giving them a decent position right now. Still a Graviton Surge ready to go if they want to drop this one, as well as a Tactical Visor, but I don't even think they're going to need this at this point. Zom's taken down, and the Elo Terrorists hold on once again. 145 on the clock, and Retzi yet to find a prime opportunity to drop that Tactical Visor. We'll see if he can get into a strong position this time around. They needed that uh, swap from Sinatra 
oh, a long, long time ago, I think, to really kind of get that Graviton up and be able to deal with this Junkrat just a little bit. But so far, this man has been an absolute monster, just pushing out so much damage. And a nice <laughs> drop down from Zombs. They're going to find two just to start things off. And they're going to go ahead and give that Tactical Visor the Nana Boost over to Retsy, who cleans it up. And I think that is what we were expecting. Maybe they just wanted to give everyone a bit of a laugh for the first few minutes or so, Herex, but easy team cleanup comes out there from Zoms, Retsy, and Unko off of that Earth Shatter. They secure the first point, get themselves a little bit of extra time, and might try to press this. Maybe catch someone out of position, but for the most part, Elo Terrace are in a decent spot, as we do actually see Archer up top here. Maybe looking to peel around the corner. Already used that tactical visor, but if he can find a pick here, that'd be pretty big for these guys as they look to press the archway. Chatter at the ready for Praji, holding down this archway. Great opportunity as Zom's barrier is getting low. Graviton coming out. He could come around the backside. Not even going to need to do that there as the <laughs> Riptire comes out and they find two with it, Storm. Uh, too easy. That's textbook play right there with that Riptire coming into the Graviton surge. Easy cleanup for those guys. <laughs> Uh, I saw that. Did you see me stop trying to get up there? Not quite going to be able to do that one. That's that plat play, dude, that we've been looking for. Oh, he did it again! did it again! Oh, man. Oh, that's just the uh, top you 10 the, fills. You might have the Super Mario Brothers that jump, dog. <laughs> oh, man, but they've got a Graviton Surge into this next fight. And Retsy, of course, made the change over in McCree. Graviton Surge is out, but it's going to be into a Transcendence. But no, Dante with the Pulse Bomb finds a double kill here. But no, it's a Ponzor. Brings up to with the Valkyrie usage here, putting them in an even fight situation once again here. Do they want to drop anything else? Now, actually, nothing really to be dropped at this point, except Zom's coming up on an Earth Shatter. But again, Ponzor brings back Green Stop, who has really been putting in the work. But Zom's is so far out here with the rest of his team. There's no one in the back to be able to support them right now. And that's going to be an easy cleanup again, coming out for the side of the Guardians. But as I say that, they pull back a few more kills. Prodigy still in the fight, finds the Lucio in the charge, but nobody can stop the hammer from Zoms, the Reinhardt god himself right now. <laughs> As uh, Prodigy's saying, okay then, well, that just happened because how many times does it look like the terrorists have the advantage in that fight? Oh, I just had like a quick moment uh, for CSGO saying the terrorists like that, but I mean, Zoms, as we know, going to be picked up for Owl uh, on a Reinhardt, obviously. Uh, just showing his prowess, making it known Sorry, why. Guys. Sorry about that. Graviton Surge is out there. Sinatra, easy cleanup again. So uh, it feels like we're kind of getting some serious play every once in a while from these guys. It feels <laughs> like ever since that first point capture, it's, it's kind of been them playing fairly seriously, especially with Red Sinel on that McCree doing quite a bit of work here. And look how far they're pushed up. 2.30 to go. It's selfless all over work. again, man. Oh. Just pushed into the spawn. No care in the world as to what happens. Uh, a little bit of that rogue action as Unko brings that strat of just leaving Sleepy on the point. Uh, uh, very akin to wins. They could lose the fight, but as long as Sleepy was on the point pushing it by himself and oh, keeping Zobs. up with the Twitter memes, it's all good, dude. Oh, Zobs with the shatter into Prodigy's shield. Had the nano boost and wasn't able to take advantage of it whatsoever in that situation. It was kind of... Out of position, not really a whole lot of people that is support him. And now on the defensive end of things here, so you got to think they're in a pretty comfortable position sitting on both support ultimates. I mean, Ponzor is going to have double res ready to go. And another 10 seconds is going to be able to have another one. But a Graviton Surge again out here from Sinatra. It's going to be into that Transcendent. So they don't really find a whole lot off of this one. But there's another Graviton Surge on the other end. So I'm trying to find something. Oh, the kills are there. Prodigy cleans it up with the Junkrat support there. And they push him back with 90 seconds to go. Suck and Green Stop are, are super good. And, and uh... It just actually hit my head, or came into my head. It's green stop. Is that red start? Because that would make way too much sense. That has it to be red be, start because he's playing with from he's him. playing to pwn, he's playing with Tiponzor. He's playing with Prachi. That has to be red start. I'm red I'm star. absolutely positive at this point that that, that is red start, which Those makes a lot of sense. Red start. Red start has been a force to be reckoned with in the Academy Gaming tournaments. His tracer has pretty much been unmatched for the most part, but he hasn't played it just yet. The shatters are out from both sides. Again, Zoms gets hit with that Nana Boost here. They're gonna bring back up Praji off of this one. Pop the Valkyrie as well from Tiponzor. See if they can find anything with this one. Tactical Visor out there from Retsy, but not gonna find a whole lot behind that Reinhardt shield from Praji, which is gonna stand tall throughout the duration of that one. Now Archer, 
go ahead and pop his own here, but not a lot of targets really. I think he could have saved that one, but regardless, find Sleepy, under 30 seconds to go here. It's, neither team really has a whole lot to work with. Well, that Graviton at the ready. You have to be careful. As soon as that Graviton comes down, Greenstop's so good at getting in there and just punching out that damage alongside Proji. They have really good coordination inside of that Graviton, so uh, uh, definitely a big threat here as he's going forward, looking for that opportunity to get in there, get that back line in there as well. An awesome opportunity to get in there, and Greenstop actually finished off. They're still going to look for those kills, but with him on the floor, I'm oh, not sure they're going to do it. Make it back. Oh, not really a good opportunity to be able to make it back to that one. Wow. Regardless, here, the Elo Terrace make a hold unexpectedly. Didn't see that one coming. Zom's got hit with another nano boost there. I think that was the third nano boost actually being dropped onto Zom's on that Reinhardt in the third stage of the map here. So with that in mind, Herix, they've got their work cut out for them. Winner of this map moves uh, moves into the semifinals to take on the Bunny Blasters, which Again, that's going to be a tough matchup regardless. If we see the same type of performance, I think, from the side of ELO Guardians going into Bunny Blasters, I got to say Bunny Blasters have the advantage moving into that one, Herix. But then again, we don't know if these guys are really taking this that seriously. Very doubtful they are, but I doubt they want to lose here in the quarterfinals. <laughs> uh, someone's saying it could be Toilet Man. I mean, that's that's possible, too. I mean, <laughs> it's true. I, I, li I literally do not know. I mean, Red Star changed his account name once. It, wasn't it him? I, I think it was him. He changed it once, and they changed it back. Well, he's played it in all at some point. And it was uh, he did actually have the full name Red Star, and then he also went with like no vowels. Um, and I Clever. think that's the latest that we went <laughs> that we've seen is the no vowels Red Star. But I mean, I don't know at this point. I, I, I'm not even sure. I, I think it would be easy to tell if you just looked at his. Uh, games played in comp and you just see it that it's like 90 percent tracer that's probably a good indication of uh who that might be <laughs> um but it, it could be toilet man too i don't know um question also becomes is this literally just like this probably is them like some fun man is this is this like five out of six of of their regular roster though because i mean to pones or prodigy and then everybody else is people that we haven't really heard of <laughs> <laughs> and then green stop is more than likely one of those two guys that we were just talking about it could just be their regular roster or or at least three to four out of six um potentially but either way we're gonna be seeing them on defense here zom's coming back at you with that reinhardt action retzi gonna bring out that roadhog we got we saw good stuff from heavy by day can retzi do as well or better uh given that retzi is in my opinion uh you know one of those really really solid players that are still out there um, ever since Rise Nation got dropped, uh, I, I think he was most recently, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was most recently um, playing around with CLG a little bit, I want to say. But um, still, I mean, haven't seen a lot from this guy recently, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to be bringing to the table here with the, uh, the Roadhog. Well, we've got the defensive Orissa coming out here from the quad tank setup. Should be exciting to watch this one happen is... Dante on the Orisa, man. He's, he's changing up his role entirely. We'll see what they make of this one. <laughs> the quad Green tank stop. strat, man. Yeah, who who knew that the fourth right? DPS team with no tank players, other than like maybe, you know, Sinatra and Zoms, who both play flex sometimes, they're going to be playing four tanks and it's somehow just, it just works, man. When you've got Unko healing you like that, it, it just works, man. Well, Urshatter comes out from Praji, able to connect onto a couple, but there's really nobody there to follow this one up off of because of Retzi, who came around Hotel, trying to kind of mess with them here in the back. Dealing with both supports, Zoms gets the nano boost here. Easy cleanup coming through from these guys. And Curex, if they keep this up, it should be a <laughs> quick defense here. I mean, what do you even do against this right now? These guys are showing us how the quad tank setup is done. Unko just giving us that no look grenade flick over to kill that Genji. He's just like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and finish this off, boys. Tossed it up. Found that. Uh, found that kill. But uh, you know, they're looking phenomenal, man. Here's the thing with this composition: you have two really good heroes on the board, Mercy and and Ana. Really good at tank healing. Really consistent healing. Uh, you know, great ultimates, great threats with their skills in general with that res able to bring these guys up. So with these two healers, I wouldn't be su surprised to see even more of this kind of composition going forward. Uh, you know, and I, I really like this actually. They're going to be able to hold these guys out for quite a long time. And <laughs> any kill that comes out, Sleepy's just going to bring right back up. 
shatters from both sides here and Zom was actually caught out of position here but of course like you had mentioned Sleepy just gonna bring him back up there with the Valkyrie now another Graviton Surge out there from the side of Elo Terrorist and both teams utilizing all of their ultimates in this position trades of course gonna favor the offense with that short respawn but the trade's not going to be coming out for much longer. Another Resurrect comes back, brings up the Zarya here, and finally an opportunity for them to move in Curex, but it's not really going to be a whole lot they can use. They don't quite have a Dragon Blade. They don't quite have that Death Blossom as well. A nice Fire Strike from Zoms connects into the Graviton Surge, connects onto the Ponzor, and things are going to be, re uh, be reset once again here with 90 seconds to go. And a Death Blossom though, and Dragon Blade finally ready to go from the side of the offense. But can they make anything of it in this next fight? I mean, we were we were watching the Mercy for a little bit there. Just to, I was just trying to get a kind of bearing on the timings with the ultimate there. As soon as anybody would go down, the, the amount of time it would take to take down one of these tanks, by the time another one went down, the res would just be ready again. Green stop just cutting oh, through man. these guys right now. Very, very low, but not before they get all of these kills. Just have to finish off Dante in the corner, and they do just that. A minute remaining, they finally mop this one up here. Storm holding on to Transcendence to go into the streets phase of this map, but we will see all those spawns come Coming back up in the meantime making it look easy and now sinatra is like okay guys we don't want to lose here in the quarterfinals we want to take on the notorious funny blasters he's going to move over to a tracer here making that triple tank setup maybe this is a little bit more ideal we'll see it's not even going to be with a zarya though to pair with that graviton surge but it's Sinatra. He doesn't need it. They're going to force out the Resurrect as he finds a pick into the back from Green Stop. And he is just going to be a pest here on the payload. Looking to move in. Zomps with the Grav or excuse me, with the Earth Shatter doesn't quite find anything off of that one. A Transcendence Initiation comes out as well from Zet. They're going to move in with a Graviton, or excuse me, with an Earth Shatter of their own. Now, Dante propping out the ultimate here, but another Graviton Surge. He's going to be able to find a few into this one, Kyrex, and that should be... More than likely, the Elo, Elo Terrorist moving forward off this one. They've got the numbers on the payload. Just need to take care of Dante here. And that's <laughs> going to be some good ground cover. Dante finds one for himself. No, not quite going to be able to save the day. But even so, good ground being covered here. And now we're seeing the, t uh, the swap ups happening, actually, from Elo Guardians. Dante sticking <laughs> to that Orisa here. But otherwise, Retsy and Sinatra have swapped. Obviously, Sinatra swapped before that last fight, holding onto that Pulse Bomb now, just being that annoying presence that we're used to seeing him be. He actually goes for the kill there, not gonna find anything though, as he actually gets Prodigy a little bit lower here, forcing them back a little bit. Archer down pretty low as well, as again, Sinatra finding these routes behind, flanking into the back line and putting pressure onto those supports is really what allows the rest of his team to get in there and kind of try to make their presence known in the front line. Well, Green Stop needs to get this Dragon Blade up. That was their successful push on that point A, getting that Dragon Blade ready to go. He has it now, but Zet is taken down early on. We'll see if he's able to move in what? with this one. He's going to look for something here. He finds Retsy into the back, looking for Dante as well. Not quite going to come through with the kill as Unko finishes the deed here. Still, they've got four people on the payload as Sleepy actually brings up Zom's now Graviton Surge out here from the offense. Can they find much with it? No, not going to be the case here, X. And I think the Guardians might have held off at the time being, oh. but a big shatter. Prodigy picks up two, finds Onko. There's a Pulse Bomb out. Sinatra sticks him. Zom's around the payload, though, with an Earth Shatter of his own. Follows through with a great charge into the Tracer, even though the Transcendence was up there from Zet. And such a back and forth battle gonna go in favor here of the elo terrace with 45 seconds remaining gonna buy themselves another 90 seconds here they could do it right now they could pull the upset out and move into the semifinals with a victory here have a great opportunity i mean two minutes is enough time to work with here especially if we see some of those ultimates coming up from prodigy and suck for that ability to get that extra little bit of control in the fights you really need that to try to lock these guys down and now uh, getting aggressive is actually ELO Guardians as they're pushing forward. Sinatra already with the kill. That's a big opportunity for them to jump through. No, not quite going to be able to find the Pulse Bomb, but they did actually get a kill on the Zet, forcing out that Resurrect 20, or excuse me, uh, a decent cooldown on that, that or excuse me, that ability. So not going to have that for this. They're going to be forced to back out of this one as X-Redsy picking up a few crucial kills for these guys, building that ult charge. 
And Curix with 120 to go, I don't know, wh what do you want to see here from the side of the Terrace to be able to push this payload to the distance? <laughs> deal with Sinatra. You, you, you have to deal with Sinatra. I mean, going back for, to, I, I believe it was, what, April, I think, of this year, uh, when Sinatra really started to make a name for himself. I mean, teams were just having a lot of trouble dealing with uh, this man here, and then of, co of course on top of that you always had that presence of the Fran and all the frontline threats And they almost have the same thing here. They deal with Retsy and He gets right back up sleepy has been so good about getting these guys back up into the fight a lot of bolts here for the terrorists Can they get these out enough to be able to push their way not only through this first fight? But they have to get through another here storm but they didn't even need to use that Dragon Blade into the Graviton Surge to clean that one up. Dante and Zom's in a really rough position right now. Is Sleepy really not able to get to them and keep himself alive at the same time? Now Unko moves over to the Zenyatta. This is do or die for both teams. Winner of this moves into the semifinals here, and they still have a Transcendence to use from Zet. If Archer can open this up with the Pulse Bomb, that would be big. Sinatra playing it close here. Almost gets picked off, but this is it. Do or die. Winston's out here from Dante as well. Dragon Blade from Green Stop. Looking to clean it up. Looking for the win right now. Finds Zomps immediately has the support of a Transcendence sitting right on top of him. Meanwhile, on the payload here, it's only Sleepy and Dante. Dante in such a rough spot. I think they've done it right now. Unko is not in a position to get on the payload. It's Sinatra and Sleepy both taken down. They do it somehow, some way. The ELO Terrorists take down the ELO Guardians and they move themselves into the semifinals to take on the Bunny Blasters. Of the Hell of a performance coming out from this man right here. <laughs> oh man, this guy has been insane. I mean, I think this was incredibly fortunate for, for them uh, that they were able to get this match due to the fact that you know all these people are watching and all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately, we're probably gonna be saying goodbye to, to most of the spectators that we have right now. Um, we still got some great games coming up. We, we absolutely do. And not only that, but people, if you want to see more of our boy Greenstop here, which I, is probably on an alt, and I think is probably kicking himself in the butt a little bit for being on an alt, given the performance that he's had so far, um, you know, I think he's looking good, man. I, I think he's definitely yeah. probably made a name for himself at least a little bit here today <laughs> for us. He is the savior of the Tier 2 Overwatch scene. So again, that is the ELO Terrace. Moving into the semifinals to take on Bunny Blasters. I know a lot of you guys are fans of Dante, Sinatra, Sleepy Zombs, all those guys. But we still have a lot of great action. That was just a round of eight. We've got a semifinal match. We've got a finals match. We are here every single Monday evening. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we have in store for the rest of the evening, guys. But I was informed, Hurex, that we do actually, just in the nick of time, we have our match Reno coupon codes. For those of you that do not know... Our crowd, our uh, prize pool is 100% crowdfunded um, by you guys, but most of it, it comes from Haste and Matrino. So if anybody is interested in helping out, just takes a few seconds of your time. Exclamation point Matrino in Twitch chat. Click the link. Give our boy Green Stop some money, man. Use the coupon code AGOW70. It throws in a dollar to the prize pool for free on top of the 100 that Haste puts in. 150 bucks. Does it just takes a moment of your time? Would go a long ways in helping out 